welcome to Jojo Africa Puppet Show. My name is Daniela Naila. Let me talk about Samuel. Welcome everybody. Today we want to talk about Samuel and Daniela is going to is going to listen to the story and this is my friend Jill. Yeah, hi everyone. I hope you're going to listen to the story. So today we want to learn about Samuel. And if you have a Bible, please open Samuel chapter 1 verse 19 to 28. It says the the next morning, Elikana and his family got up early and after worshipping the Lord... Wait, 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 Clemmy. Did the children get their Bible and their notebook? I hope they do, because I have my Bible, my book, and even I have a pen. As they get their Bible and their notebook, we can just open with a word of prayer. Yes, that's that okay? right. Yes. Okay. Let's pray. Can you pray for us? Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord Father. As we, as we start our lesson, Lord of Father, be with us, Lord of Father. Guide us and protect us, Lord of Father. Lead us to Lord of Father. Can you see and believe? Amen. Now you can continue. So, the story is, it, it is 19 to 22. Sorry. The next morning, Elikana and his family got up early. And after worshipping the Lord, they went back home to Rama. Elikana... Hannah got a bed. Hannah got a, a son, and the Lord answered her prayer. So it was that she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel and explained I asked for the Lord for him. The time came again for Elikana and his family to go to Shelau and offer and offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and the special sacrifice he had promised. But this time, Anna did not go. She told her husband, as soon as the child is weaned, I will take him home to the house of the Lord, where he will stay all his life. So this Bible story talks about when God, when Anna went to the temple, she went and prayed and asked for God for a son. And God gave her a son and she named him Samuel. But she kept a promise that when, Sa when Samuel was born, she would bring, bring him to the temple. So she did it. She, so it, this story talks about we shall always keep our promises. Wow, that's so nice. Aniela, do you keep your promises? Yes. But you promised you're going to give me a suit and you did not give me you, you, you can to keep your promise like Elkana. You promise? Yeah. So children keep your promises. I hope you're keeping your promises by keeping when your mother tells you or your father to do your homework and you tell them that I'll do it in a few minutes, but it just always keep your promises when they tell you to do your homework or your schoolwork or the chores in the house and help them. I hope you do that. Keep and your promises else. like God. And something else. Yes. Aniela, what was the son of Elkanah called? Samuel. Yay! Do you have a question for the for the children, Aniela? What do you think you're going to ask them? Where did Elkanah give the child? Oh, where did Elkanah take the child when she finished winning the child? So children, are you going to answer? I hope you do. Okay, we're giving you a minute to answer your parent or answer to your guardian and then we're going to tell you the answer. You'll answer, Jill. Answer. And yeah. you do answer? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. He took the son somewhere to the temple. Yay! Yay. Did a great job. <laughs> and you know something else? That uh, when you pray God, always trust God like Elka. Elikana. Aniela, do you pray sometimes and then you don't believe God? I pray. You pray and you believe God? Yes. Do you have something to pray for the children so they can also trust in God like you? Yes. Oh, before that, I know Clemmy always have a surprise for us. Yes, I do. What's the surprise today? today? I made Hannah with my model. Wow. This time I didn't draw it on paper. This is Hannah. Can I bring you closer to the children can see? Hannah and she's carrying Samuel on her arms wow. to take them to take them to the temple. And this is Elikana. They are going to the temple. Wow, that's a beautiful model. Aniela, are you going to make like that? Yes. Oh, that will help the children remember the story. Yes. And then you know what else? I feel like we can sing a song for the children to remember the story. Yes. What song do we sing? 
I, I, I made an, a song. Oh, you time. can teach us? Yes. Okay, teach us then. Keep your promises just like Jesus. Just keep your promises. People else will keep their promises. Keep your promises. It doesn't matter what's on your way. Keep your promises. Keep, keep, keep your promises. Yay! Yeah, keep your promises. And, yes. And, and children, what do you promise to do this week? For God and to your parent. Tell your parent or tell your friend there what you're going to do for this week. Me, I promise. Can I promise something? I promise I'll be well behaved this week. I'm going to pray and read my Bible all the time. And me, I promise I'll help my mother in chores and in cooking. And even I'll, I'll always do my studies. Nice. And Anela, what do you promise? That I'll always help. You'll always help. And you know what? When you make a promise, we you all, do it. You do it and you're going to trust God. He's going to help you to keep your promises. And you know what, Clemmy? Yes. I think we can pray so that God can make our promises come true. You can pray, Jill. You want today. me to pray? Yes. I wanted Anila to pray. Okay. Anila, you pray. pray. Yay! Okay, let's pray. Put your hands together, and then Anila is going to pray for us. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Let us thank you, Lord, so Lord, Father. Let's thank you, Lord, Father. As you go, for us, help us, Lord, Father. As you go, Lord, Father. As you help us, Lord, Father. In Jesus' name, pray and believe. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed our paper story. And our story, too. Okay, bye. Bye.